Hey guys, Brian Goes Blue. And Coco too. Back again with another, well actually, our, this is our first. Basically our first our ever. First ever toy haul. So we're going to show a lot of toys that we've accumulated over the last, I don't however know. However long. However long months. If you don't know this about us, we are not only collectors of physical media, movies, Blu-rays, 4Ks, all of that, VHS. Uh, we have a lot of toys. Um, so... We're going to just start off with everything that we've picked up, like, as of late. Mm -hmm. And, you know, eventually maybe we'll go into older stuff. I'm, I'm pretty, we've shown stuff on the channel in yeah. pickup videos. We'll always show, like, a random toy pickup that we've gotten. But this mm -hmm. is, like, our first official, like, all just, just this, toys. Yeah, yeah. A couple of books. Um, a couple of, like, it, it varies. Um, but, yeah. We got some NECA, some Toonie Terrors, mm -hmm. some... Like, I don't know, reaction figure type things. Yeah. Funkos. Um, yeah. Really excited for this video. We've been looking forward to showing this stuff off for a long, long time. So I'm really excited to get Got started. Got some birthday presents here. Yes. From earlier this month. Yep. Yeah. All right. So should we get going? Yeah, let's go. All right. First off, I want to start with a couple of books. Um, so when we were kids, of course, and we first probably off, let's did too. Hall. I want to start off with books. Well, yeah, because it's like, I don't I know, know. I know, I know. It's just kind of, it kind of like went with the theme, I feel like. Yeah. So, um, I've been grabbing these at Target lately. Well, we have been. Um, and I think a couple of them came from, from Walmart as well. But these were books that I had as a kid and you did too. Mm -hmm. So we've been kind of like recollecting these because we don't have the books from our childhood. Um, so, yeah, the golden books. So, grabbed The Little Mermaid. And these aren't badly priced either. Um, this one was actually on clearance at Target for $2.99, and that's, uh, Stranger Things, 11. We can count on 11. The Funko Pop version. I almost said we can count to 11. <laughs> the Funko Pop version. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't pass that one up. And then we've got Super Mario. These are just too cool not to get. My favorite, probably. The Haunted Mansion. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, the, the newest one that I grabbed that I was lucky enough to find because it was kind of flying off the shelves, as you can imagine, Taylor Swift. So yeah, those are the golden books we've picked up. Um, and you pick the next thing. Well, we're just going to do it randomly. Just, it's going to be an all over the place um, toy haul. We'll show... One of your birthday presents? Your we'll favorite show, birthday present? We'll show this birthday present, all right? <laughs> so... Um, I always see these in the Target aisle, and I think they're really cute, and everybody's going to make fun of me in the media community for this, but uh, the little the little woodsies, bunny rabbit family, <laughs> and I just think they're cute. They're flocked, so they're soft. Yeah. they got their little glasses and the grandparents, and he's got a, he's got a little cane going on. And he's wearing a diaper. And he's... Oh, he's wearing a, he's wearing a diaper. Look at the back picture; yep. you can see it better. He's yeah, like, you can see it better. He's, he's wearing a he's wearing full, a full on diaper. diaper. Yeah, because he's an old man. He then <laughs> depends. Um, but yeah, I thought this was the cutest one in the 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 set. They have uh, mice and looks like uh, cats and squirrels too. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know why. I just I just like these little guys. And so. I do too. Yeah. Thank you for getting me that for my birthday. You're welcome. And then... That's a random pickup. This random pickup. Uh, $5.99. Was it at Target? Mm-hmm. It was on clearance. It's the R2-D2 Tamagotchi. So, you remember Tamagotchis back in the day. This is one. This one's just R2-D2. I've been meaning to open this one up. I, I actually bought it before our Hollywood Studios trip. And it was meant to be played with, like, in our hotel room while, like... You know, because we were going to Hollywood Studios. We just had other stuff going on, so we never ended up getting it, but... Apparently, Tamagotchis are returning, because we just saw in the, they had a whole uh, booth at San Diego Comic-Con. Comic -Con, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yep. Uh, this next one is a Kenner figure. Another birthday present. Another birthday present. And uh, it's really cool. It's Return of the Jedi. It's Wicket. Yeah. Who is one of my favorite characters from Return of the Jedi. Me too. I love the Ewoks. And a lot of people don't, but I do. I do too. And then there's some of the other characters that came out in this line. Uh, I just really like the whole 
40th Return of the Jedi Resurgence this year, 40th yeah. anniversary, so glad to have that one. Yeah. Cool. It's like a bigger box, too. Yeah, that was a no-brainer. I got that one, and I was like, yep, he needs this. Um, should we keep the Target theme going? Yeah, we and can. Just go through these. These other, we got a few other Kenner figures, and these are from Indiana Jones. Um, these were five ninety nine a piece. They were I was on, say on they sale were on too. Sale too, yeah. Um, so it doesn't not the best looking, but that's so cool. Still old school, old school, and um, yeah. I just like the retro look. This is Indiana Jones from the Temple of Doom, which is my favorite mm -hmm. of the franchise. And then you have um, Marion Ravenwood and uh, Razor of the Lost Ark. She looks a little funny in this. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah, she's got like a little big, big forehead going on right there. <laughs> but these figures are funny looking, but I just, I like them with the card backer and everything. Yeah. And um, it's kind of hard to set them down. I know. And then last but not least, you have from, from Temple of Doom also, you have my man Short Round. Yep, he's my There's a uh, Key, whatever his name is. I forget his name. Yeah. From uh, Everything Everywhere All Once. All one. <laughs> <laughs> Ki Hu Kwan or something. Yeah. So yeah, those those are pretty cool. Five ninety nine a piece for those, and I've seen on eBay they sell for twenty twenty five a piece. So yeah, happy uh, to have those. Happy to have those. Yeah. All right. So I didn't take these out of the bag. So sorry for the noise, but um, I I I have a huge collection of Harry Potter Funko. Well, we have a huge collection of Harry Potter Funko Pops, and I stopped collecting them along the way. We still have a lot. They're packed away. They'll they'll come out eventually. Um, so I kind like I, when I stopped collecting them, I saw these spoiler alert these big boys, and I just never could pull the trigger, and because I you know kind of stopped collecting on them. But anyways, I saw these on clearance at Target. These normally go for twenty nine ninety nine. This was eight ninety nine, and this is Remus Lupin with the Shrieking Shack. Look at how cool that is! <laughs> I am so excited. I mean, this thing's massive too. It's huge. We're box collectors, like with our toys, we usually keep our stuff in the box, but this definitely, like with Pops, I don't mind taking them out of their box and displaying them, so yeah. when we get our house, this will definitely be going... Yeah, that'll be so much smaller out of the box, too. Yeah, for sure. So, really excited to have that. Um, and that's not the only one. There was not just one on the shelf, there was a few, and I got them all, and I got the last... It was just one random day in our Target clearance aisle. They were just sitting there, and I was like, oh my god, I, these are coming home with me. So, again, $8.99, normally $29.99. Madame Rosemerda, Rosemerda, sorry, with the three broomsticks. What Harry Potter fan in their right mind would not, am I getting the glare off of it good? Would not get these. I mean, so cool. Yeah. So cool. I love that too. And I can't wait to get it. I can't wait to get her off from in front of it because you can see the three broomsticks and like the, the writing on the front of the building. Like when she's not right in front of it. Yeah. So yeah. Really excited for that. And excited to be showing it in the video because now we can like not have them taking up floor space and put them out somewhere. Mm -hmm. Or pack them up and get them ready for the big move. Yeah. Um, and last but not least, this is my favorite one. This is one I think I actually asked you for for Christmas or like hinted at it because I just, I love Honey Dukes so, so, so much. It's like my favorite store storefront in Harry Potter other than the castle. I just love the pink and green. Also $8.99, Neville Longbottom with Honey Dukes. And he's got the red lollipop <laughs> from Prisoner of Azkaban, my favorite Harry Potter movie <laughs> and book. Well debatable anyway that's not important what is important is we have this bad boy and it's so cute and i love it so much <laughs> yeah and those are they're flat backs so like those can easily go on a bookshelf yeah so hell yeah how about you show this one okay because this is your baby right here yeah this was a so this was a comic-con exclusive from last year i picked it up it's been a while since we've we've had this one for a little bit um but they went on sale yeah. online, and I scooped it up. With, I mean, it sold out <laughs> real quick. Uh, this is from Gremlins 2, and it's the ultimate wedding, ultimate Greta wedding dress Gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me laugh every time I see it. So, so great. So it's really funny. I love the the 
portrait on the side. It just reminds me of like the Sears portrait studio. The eight, like the 80s yeah. ones. So you got her right there all dolled up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I'm not taking this one out of the box. But I just love the image on the left here. <laughs> but yeah, it, she comes with, um, you know, extra claws and a bouquet. And she's a really awesome figure. I love it. Yeah. And then the back of the box. I love it so much. Yeah. Yeah, it's a stain in the collection. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, NECA figures too. And probably, we'll probably wait to do like a whole video. Like we said, we have a lot of collectibles and toys like right in front of us. Um, we'll probably wait until our move, until we get everything, like, situated where we want it to show it on video. Because I feel like we have shown a lot in the past. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so, um, we'll just keep the theme going with these and then we'll switch to those. Yeah. This one was so cool. This was such a cool find. We had no idea what it was about. We just knew it was scary yeah. and cool looking. We still haven't even seen the monsters yet, but this is... No. This is Zombo from the Monsters movie. Uh, we got this at Target. Got this at Target. I just we really liked it. We haven't seen it again on the shelves either since we since we got it. No. I mean I'm sure it's out there, but we haven't seen it again. We love the I love these like little these boxy, hard box like, slimmer necos that they do. Mhm. Mm yeah, with the hook because you can yeah, hang the them hook, up like yeah. that. So. Yeah, and there's like a cereal box. I think yeah, that's like the commercial for the this the thing. Crumble creature crackers. Whoever this is. Or yeah, not, Whoever Zombo not cereal, is. but cr uh, crackers. But yeah, that's yeah, Zombo from the Munsters. Really cool. And we're guessing the way he's like colored and stuff, it's it's like black and white. Like on the TV, obviously. Yeah. Like that's how you were seeing him in the movie. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we definitely have to see the Munsters. I know people weren't like crazy about it, but it's, it's cool to have that for sure. And then this one we got more recently. Yeah, I was supposed to get this one last year, but Screen Factory <laughs> took forever to do this one. Yeah. That's uh, Stevie Wayne from The Fog. So cool. Got her in the front there. She looks a lot better than I thought she would. Like mm -hmm. a lot more like resemblance of uh, Adrian Barbeau. Yeah. And that's her. Stevie Wayne. Got look at the back of the box. Comes with the cross and then the, the Dane, um, the wood breaking thing from The Fog. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Love that. Cool. So, you may or may not know, because I, I think we've showed this in a... Yeah, we definitely did. Um, a while back, you can go check out our movie room tour. Mm -hmm. It's not only just in this room, but it's kind of like throughout our house where all of our stuff is displayed. Yeah. Pretty sure we panned through all of our Toonie Terrors on the wall, I don't think right? we had them up there yet. No? I don't think oh so. Oh my god. Well, are we going to do that in this video? I don't know. No. I don't want to make any promises. We're just going to show what we got recently. But to date, we have the entire first and, I believe, second wave now of Toonie Terrors. Mm -hmm. um, first we couple waves. First couple waves. So, yeah, we, we collect Toonie Terrors. We haven't been great about showing them, but we are now. So, um, this is one that we held off on for so long I because know. it's a little bit more of an expensive one. But we wanted to complete the first wave, so we got uh, the Grady Twins from The Shining. Yeah. So, double trouble there. Yeah, we 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 saw this a million times in store and never grabbed it at yeah, Target. And I finally saw it again, and I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna recently. grab it for us. Yeah. Yep. So what we do is we just take a little push pin and put it up on the very top of our ceiling, like right below our crown molding, and they're all just like lined up in our living mm -hmm. room, like in the main part of our house. So it's kind of cool. Um, this is actually from the brand new wave. Is it wave three? I don't know what wave we're on know. now. It's whatever um this is a uh, from beauty of horror i don't know and that's guliana i'm not really that's sure that's kind of us just being about. completionists on the toonie terror line because we don't really know much about guliana but i think she's cool looking she looks cool it's like a little zombie bat girl and every time i see her like the colors i think of reagan just yeah. like the blue and the the tan i don't know yeah, she looks cool yeah so guliana. we're just kind of blowing through these like we said we hang these up on our wall with a push pin, so um, we don't like take them out and show. I mean, maybe someday we will take them out and display them yeah. like that, but we like kind of the, you know, how it says wh who it is and the backing and everything, so we just keep them like this. This one's probably one of your favorites, I think. Oh, yeah. So I'll have you show that one. That's Scott Howard from Team Wolf. Comes with the basketball. He's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's styling. 
Yeah, that one is really cool. Yeah. I'm glad that they did that one. It's got the Let's Go Beavers basketball in the background there. Mm-hmm. It's cool. And on the back it's got some lockers. Lockers. Yep. Did I show the backs of the other ones? Uh, I think so. I think so. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then I picked this one up. We kind of take turns, like, picking these up at the store. Or we'll go together and, like, hunt them down. Yeah. Um, our target's usually pretty good about, uh, replenishing them, but sometimes not. Um, but I was lucky to find this one. Um, and that's the male alien from They Live. Mm -hmm. So you've got the little paper there. It says obey. And from what you can, what we can see, like, here, if when you turn the paper around, it does say stay asleep. I don't know if there's anything on the inside of like the little booklet. Um, and then of course on the back you've got us a little podium podium that says obey behind mm -hmm. them. So yeah, happy to pick that one up. Hopefully they do uh, the female alien. Yeah. Wait, did they? No. Okay, it was just him so far. I'm thinking of the, the, the NECA. Yeah. Like the full size one. Um, and then we got this guy. The Hocus Pocus line was really weird. It was like they all came individually, but then Billy came by himself, and then there was like one box of all three of them. That's the one we had our eye on. So, of course, we got Billy Butcherson because he came by himself. Mm -hmm. Boy, I'm showing it good. And, and these don't say Toonie Terror on them, even though they are. Yeah, they're like they're like a different looking. Probably because they're Disney, they had to be yeah licensed a little bit differently. So there's Billy. And then he comes with a stand, too. So if we do ever, you know, take them out, we do have a stand. I like to see that. Yeah. I know Anthony does, too. Shout out to Anthony. We we watch all his pickup videos, and we were like, we need to show our Toonie Terrors off, too. Like, the ones, at least, that aren't hanging up yet. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, with that, I'll, I'll have you show these. We got... We're not, like, super fans of how these look. They're kind of cartoony. Yeah. I mean, I know that's the whole point of the toy, but... Like the Sanderson Sisters? But I still think they look good. They look pretty good. You got the Funko Pops too from the first wave. They, yes, the we first do. ever wave they came out with. Mm -hmm. I pre-ordered those back in the yeah, day. Yeah, and they have like the pretty like purple metallic background. So yeah, that's the Sanderson sisters. I wish that they did come with a cauldron. There's a cauldron picture on the back with them. They don't come with the cauldron. No. That's that's a missed that's, opportunity. That's just in the picture. It's like. I mean, we could buy a call, little cauldron at Target. We'll probably do that. Hmm. And, like, put them around it. Missed opportunity. Ooh, with, like, a little green LED light inside. That would be really cool. Yeah, probably find my spirit. Yeah. So, that brings us to the bigger Toonie Terror box sets. Um, now, these, obviously, these are easier to take out because you can pop these right out. Like, our Jaws one, we have it out of the box and on display. Um, so these are big. But these are big, and these are displayed beautifully, so we don't really need to... Um, take these out. I don't think these are some bigger, some of the probably the biggest Toonie Terrors we've seen. Yeah, like this set here. Mm hmm. And it's, uh, you know, who is it? Slim and Chubby. Slim and Chubby. Yeah, it says Co Clowns right here, but on top it says Slim and Chubby. Mm hmm. So it says them on the top there. And it comes with the um, cotton candy cocoon over here. Mm -hmm. And it comes with the, the acid pie up there, the, co the cotton candy gun. Um, really cool. Yeah. So. And then on the back it says Shorty sold separately. We have not been able to find him yet. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're, we're on the lookout for him. We need to branch out to some more targets. We have two within like one is like right across the street from our house. The other one's like maybe five minutes away. It's, um, it's got the guy's head in the trash can. <laughs> it's awesome. What are you gonna do? Knock my block <laughs> off. So yeah, we have we're lucky. We have a lot of targets like close to us. We just have a harder time getting to the ones that are a little further away. They so might, might have more of the toys. Yeah, hopefully. And did Anthony have the the popcorn? That comes with, that comes with that, uh, oh, Shorty. Oh, that comes with Shorty yeah. a little. Okay, I thought I remembered him showing that. Okay. Um, this one's a little bit older. I can't remember how long we've had this one. It's been a little bit. It's slimmer, right? The the box. Yeah. It is. It's it's slimmer than the other ones. Oh, it even collected a little dust there. Gross. Um, but yeah, I feel like we've had this one for a little bit, uh, but this was probably one of the ones I was more excited for. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show it. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. We've got the pumpkin face, the witch, and the skeleton. What does it say at the top? Trick or treaters. There you go. Yeah, so that's kind of interesting. And then we've got the little picture of them on the side. 
And then on the back is the, you know, that classic art of them walking on mm -hmm. Halloween night. And then what does it say back here? Bring the fun of Saturday morning cartoons to your horror collection of these adorable little creeps. Pick your favorites or collect them all and make every toonie, every day Toonie Terror time. Wait, they came separately? Mm -mm. Pick your favorites or collect them all. No. It makes it seem like that, but I don't know. They didn't come separately for this wave. So, yeah, this was super cool. And they have them level so they're all, like, their faces are all lined up. But the pumpkin guy is definitely taller than the other. So, like, standing next to each other, I think they're all, like, different height. I like the pumpkin guy on the ground in the back. I know. With, like, the smashed-in head. Yeah, That's he's, pretty he's, great. He's done. <laughs> he's watching the, the TV. He's, he watched a little too much uh, Silver Shamrock. <laughs> and then, last but not least, our final Toonie Terror, which this one we were super excited about, too. And actually, you we've said... We've had this for a while, too. Yeah, we've had this one for a minute. Um, You said the clowns were pretty big, but this one is pretty big. Yeah, only because the wolf is so big. Yeah. But that's going to be... The Jack Goodman and Kessler Wolf from American Werewolf in London. Really, yeah. really cool set. We were also really excited about this one, actually. Yeah. And then it's got the American Man installment balloons mm. on the back here. I kind of forgot about that. I was like, why are there why are there balloons? A, a, a naked on American Man stole my balloons. <laughs> That's great. When he's trying to cover up his naked body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a good one for sure. So that does it for all of like the, well, it, that doesn't do it for all the Target stuff actually, but all the toys. Um, what are we going to do with that? Are we opening those up? We, no, you can just show them. The I didn't, yeah, I didn't open them up. Oops, sorry. Um, we, I, we probably plan to open them up at some point, but we haven't. So, um, of course we had to get the Little Mermaid, the live action Little Mermaid um, Happy Meal toys. I started, we started collecting them, like, as they were coming out, and there's, like, four out there that are already open, um, but we, not we, you ended up surprising me and getting them all together, like, I didn't have to go and get a Happy Meal every week to I try just to bought, I bought the down. whole set. So you've got, we'll just show you the picture because we're not taking them out of the bag, but I will show, show them to you in the bag. We've got Ursula, King Triton, and Eric. Right? Yep. That's Eric? Okay, yeah. I, I was making sure he was there. Then we've got Scuttle, Sebastian, Max, and Flounder. And these are actually, like, and interactive. And Ariel, too. Oh, yeah, and Ariel, right? How could I forget? And I was going to show her when I showed the... Um, these are, apparently, they were interactive with your phone. You put your put the toy on top of your phone with the app. It, that never worked for me, so I don't know what that was all about. But um, I'll try to give them to you in order. Let's see, num here's number one. I'm trying to like flip him in the bag. Sorry guys, we should have done this ahead of time, but it's not too hard to flip him in the bag. Uh, Sebastian. Or I could have just grabbed the ones that I already opened. It's okay. We got Ariel. We got... King Triton. This one's number four. Here we go. Flounder. Flounder's four. Yeah. Flounder. Here's Come Find Me. Prince Eric. <laughs> come Find Me. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. Max is cute. The little dog. He's actually bigger, I feel like, in the movie. They made him really small as the toy. Max the dog. I don't know why. And then... Scuttlebutt. <laughs> Scuttlebutt. These are really fun. Yeah. When there's a good line of toys at McDonald's, we yeah, usually we, we like get to them. Grab them all. Yeah. Ursula. And I was obsessed with the Little Mermaid movie. Saw it twice. We both really liked it, actually. Yeah. And so, had to have the toys and they came in this little box. So, that takes care of that. And then, how about you show this guy off? Because you... Alright. 
You worked pretty hard to get him. Yeah. It, <laughs> it took a few months to get this bad boy in, but that's just the um, popcorn bucket from Cinemark for uh, Scream 6. Because mm -hmm. we didn't have a Cinemark at all near us. The closest one is in Lakeland and uh, then Orlando from us. So Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just not a theater chain that's near us. So we, we were able to order this online, and it said it was coming in August, but it came in June. So, um, yeah. Pop it, pop it open. It's pretty cool. We'll, pop pro open we'll, is... we'll probably never put popcorn in there, but because we like to just display them. Let me just think about eating popcorn out of this thing. You know, <laughs> right? Your hand like really fits in. There. You might like scrape your hand on this plastic in here. What I'm hoping to find, but and it's a cool display piece. let me know, guys out there, because I'm, I'm wondering who who was able to snag the haunted mansion, Madame Leota, Crystal Ball, um, popcorn bucket that recently came out from Cinemark. We did not get one. Um, I was kind of scouring the website to see if we, they'd become available. I heard that it might become available. We'll see. Hopefully. Th this one was a, the same type of thing. Well, we've got that coming up this weekend. We don't know what AMC is going to do, so hopefully they, they come up with something. Yeah. Oh, well, we are getting an exclusive pin. Spoiler alert. So that's actually happening, but yeah. we don't know as far as a bucket. Um, last two items are birthday presents. That Brian got that you might have seen on Instagram, but we want to show them here anyways because they're just too cool not to show. And this I don't think made Instagram. I think I forgot to post it. I don't think so. Uh, this is a Lego set from the Jurassic Park uh, 30th anniversary. It's the Dilophosaurus Ambush. Really cool. Yeah. There's that. There's a little can of Barbasol. <laughs> Can't wait to put this together. Yeah, we love our There's Lego. There's definitely a can of Barbasol there. <laughs> And it's just a really cool set. I know those are some of your favorite dinos. Yeah, I movie, love the Dilophosaurus. So. They're really cool. Yeah, I had to get that one for you. And last, but most certainly not least, we literally saved the biggest and the best for last. Oh, yeah, this thing's a beast. So. Very happy to have this one. <laughs> um, I kind of splurged. Went a little overboard for the, the Brian Goes Blue birthday. Um, but we're going to do this together and... You deserve it. So yeah. I knew you'd love it. Or I hope you it's love it. It's the DeLorean set <laughs> from Back to the Future. Awesome, awesome set here. Um, it's a three in one set. So this is from the first movie. And then if you flip it around to the back, you got you can make it into the car from the second movie. And you can also make it into the car from the third movie. So it's a three in one set. And this will act. This one includes batteries, so this will be our first Lego That's lit up. set that yeah that lights up. Yeah. I don't think it does anything like mechanical. Like, what do they call that? We haven't watched Lego Masters in a while. The oh the Technics like the Lego yeah. Technics. I don't think it has anything like that. This will probably be like the most intricate build that we do though. Yeah, to date. it's definitely going to be a, a really cool display piece for our toy area. For sure. I wonder if the wheels like spin. Yeah, they spin. They do? Uh-huh. Oh my god. I haven't watched like anyone's video on building one or showing it off yeah. or anything, but yeah. I think it'll be really... So this is the one that we're going to do. That That's the yeah. second one where the wheels are like turned out. Yeah, it's got the Mr. Fusion here. This is how the gas goes in. Oh man, that's going to be so awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to build it. I mean, we can build it however way you want, but that's just my this is my favorite car from the three movies. Yeah. So yeah. So and if you, uh, I, I don't want to go too into detail about how much I paid for this, just because it was a birthday present. I mean, you already know how much this costs, so it's not a big secret. But if you um like Lego and you buy it from Target, try to wait until they have like the Target Circle deals because you can get. And I didn't do this with this, but I'm just giving you a tip. Um, try to wait for the Target Circle because they usually have like buy a Lego set, get a. Buy $50 yeah. and Lego get a $10 gift card. or There's always something to take advantage of. Yeah. Um, and then with this, I actually price matched. So I didn't pay the like the Target sticker price. I paid a little bit less by price matching. So try to do that as well. Because, I mean, these are big ticket items. So you want to yeah. try to get like the best deal, you know? That's what we always oh, yeah. do with everything we buy. Whether it's like something we're buying together or a gift. Yeah. I can't believe we just got through all of that. We did. That's amazing. So... We we love our toys. Mm -hmm. We're just big kids. But <laughs> hopefully you liked this kind of video. 
Um, this is like one of our favorite things other than movies to collect. Yeah, so. it's really cool. So, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> uh, we shut off a bunch of toys. Yes. Um, yeah. Hopefully, um, in the future, we can, like I said, show off our Toonie Terror collection. Maybe do like a little video pan of like, I mean, because it, it's a quick little clip of of all of our toonies on display yeah. but then again we have a lot of NECAs and Funko Pops and all kinds of fun stuff so mm -hmm. we'll eventually do like an entire toy haul once we're kind of settled in where we're moving and things like that so yeah yeah thanks for checking this video out we know it's a little different but hopefully it hits the right audience and you guys appreciate everything that we had to share I'm excited that we showed it all off me too because really cool. now we get to like put it up and display it and yeah play with it <laughs> so <laughs> So yeah, yeah. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what to say. <laughs> He's speechless. I'm speechless. It's the DeLorean. I, the DeLorean. It'll do yeah, that to you. That, but... thing, that thing's going to be amazing when it's we make okay. it. So. And uh, every time I see the wedding Greta, I always get, get a little flustered. <laughs> so. <laughs> but, and, uh, and your bunnies. Yeah, my bunnies yeah. too. Um, so yeah, if you like this, uh, just definitely uh, comment down below. Let us know what kind of toys you're into. Yeah. Um, if you take your toys out of the box or if you mm -hmm. keep them in box collectors, uh, yeah, or you just play with the action figures like you did, did back in the day. That's yeah. cool too. Um, yeah, we'd like to know. We're so. like a little limited on space, so we do tend to keep everything boxed, but I'd like to think eventually we will unbox some things. If you unbox them all, we'd have a lot more space, but... That's true. But yeah, the they do take up a lot of space. But, the, you know, if we wouldn't have the cool boxes are part of it, too, so... That's true, yeah. 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 Alright, guys, well, we're going to get on out of here. Thanks for watching. Brian Goes Blue. And Coco, too. Sign up. Bye.